Hey, I'm fishing today with Jim Carroll. Jim and I fish walleye tournaments, and we just got off a tournament that was a particularly tough bite. And Jim was saying to me, hey, why don't you come out to the Devil's Lake area? They're literally catching hundreds of fish a day. And I'm like, really? And he says, well, there's a lot of pike mixed in, but we'll catch some walleyes too. So I came out, Jim said we could just fish in his boat. We're staying down at the Woodland Resort. And we're fishing some lakes that are kind of unique because they're lakes that have filled up because Devil's Lake is rising so high. So we're gonna be fishing some shallow <laughs> shrines. We're gonna be using some swim baits, some crank baits, and we're gonna show you how to get the next bite. <laughs> Because Devil's Lake is a closed basin lake, its rising water levels for the last several years have expanded so much that not only has it claimed countless farms, highways, and houses, but it actually has come to form new sections of lake, or technically new lakes themselves. This aggressive expansion also makes Devil's Lake one of the most structure-centric bodies of water in the northern part of the United States for fishing walleye and northern pike. Oh, look what I caught, Jim. We got walleyes in the corn. <laughs> a corn, corn stock. stock. <laughs> but this is exactly why the fish are in here. All this vegetation is rotting and, and just creates a lot of food for the freshwater shrimp or whatever else is around. So walleyes in the Not corn. Not too many years ago, they were farming this ground. <laughs> So this has been a really neat experience because this is a lake that I've actually never been on even though it's a fish devil's lake many many times and so there's no contour maps so you just got to kind of go and figure things out and we're in the early June time period here so what I like to look for is areas of a little bit deeper water next to shore so wherever you see a cut bank I like uh, this little bit steeper breaking stuff with the larger wood on it that seems to hold fish this time of year. Using a combination of long rods, flicker shads, yeah. He likes bleaker shed. And Berkeley swim baits. Didn't take long with that new five inch uh, ripple shed, don't we? Keith and Jim are preparing to battle through high numbers of walleye and northern pike. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I can tell a guy might get wore out doing this. In search of areas that hopefully hold the bigger fish that Devil's Lake is known for producing. So it was kind of interesting listening uh, to Jason Mitchell this morning. He actually guides out of Woodland Resort where we're staying there and he was saying about how this lake that we're fishing this time it was actually a barley field not a couple years three four years ago. Yeah it's pretty cool you know Devil's Lake is a closed basin so as the waters come up that water is backed up through the ridges and ditches and coolies and ran back into these basin areas and filled them up. We've got enough water in here here now where it'll hold fish. Those fish will come in the spring, they'll get up in here and they're gonna live in here all summer long. They live in here, they grow in here, and thankfully we're in here and gonna catch them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that one. <laughs> the yummer. I love fish in here. <laughs> yeah. What we got here? I got him, I got a wallet. Oh, I just got a bite. I, well, you pitched at that one and saw it. I just thought I'd throw back there with the old green bait. <laughs> There's a walleye. You dog. He came in and... That's how chunky he is. All right, yeah. Here he comes, Jim. <laughs> Look at that one. Well, you saw that one come yeah, after you. Yeah, he chased my swim bait and then he went behind a boat and... One little flick of the flicker, Shad. <laughs> Thanks for uh, finding that. That's called fish finding, huh? Yeah. One little flick of the old flicker, Shad. Boom. Totally different bite than the pike. I got that back hook of that thing. There you go. Nice. Oh, there you go. Little, uh, little marsh walleye, right? Yeah. I mean, he's living where there was a marsh not three, four, five years ago, so. Look at that chunky. They are fat. They're in your eating, aren't yes, they? Yes, they are. They're in your eating. Here you go. 
And remember to tell all your friends how much fun you had here on the next bite. <laughs> the next bite is presented by Mercury. Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Tracker boats, fish the finest. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Berkeley, catch more fish.